Cooler temperatures are on the way to north central Florida. And the UF forecaster, Brian Boggiano, a cold front is going to be digging its way to the center part of the country today, and that's going to make its way through the state on Monday. Giving you a timetable on when it's going to make its way through. It's going to be moving through the south, and then it's going to get to the state sometime around noon Monday. As that happens, we are going to see our cloud cover continue to increase, and we are going to see it move through north central Florida closer to Monday evening and Tuesday morning. Notice also we don't have much in terms of showers. This is going to be a dry passage, but what's behind it is a lot of cooler and drier air which will filter into our area by Tuesday morning, and we are going to see the um, temperature change going into Tuesday night and Wednesday especially as that cooler, drier air continues to filter in. Now tonight, it's not going to be as cool of an evening as what we're going to see on Tuesday and Wednesday. It's going to be another relatively warm evening with temperatures only going down to about 60 degrees by 6 a.m. by the time we wake up. So once again, another warm morning is in store for north central Florida with a low of 60 degrees in Gainesville, 61 in Ocala. A little bit cooler though as you get closer to the I-10 corridor where we have 58 degrees in Lake City. Mostly cloudy skies are expected ahead of that front. High temperatures, though, Monday afternoon will be in the mid-70s once again. 74 in Gainesville, 76 in Ocala, 73 in Lake City, but a little warmer as you go down south towards Crystal River, Crystal River in the villages where you get to about 79 degrees in those places. And we could even top 80 in a few areas as the front moves through. Once again, though, that warm pattern will end by Monday by the time that front does pass. And then by Tuesday, we are going to have drier, cooler air move in. So Monday evening, that front moves through. Tuesday morning, some cooler air will begin to arrive. So we are going to see that temperature change coming by Tuesday. We will warm up gradually through the week, though. But by Saturday, we have another front moving through. So we do have another blast of cold air that will make its way towards north central Florida. That front, though, will continue its journey down the south towards our state. And as that happens, we are going to see some cooler air beginning to come from behind it. That's not going to make its way into our area, though, until about Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, that dip in the jet stream. So that's what's going to bring the front down. So cooler conditions will begin to arrive Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's when we're really going to see that temperature change coming for our area. And I'll show you just how cool we can get. Once again, though, we are going to have a relatively warm Monday. Notice, though, by Wednesday morning and Thursday morning, lows are going to be in the low 50s. And I wouldn't be surprised if we do see lows go to the upper 40s. Saturday, though, we do have a chance of rain, and that is because of an upcoming cold front.